Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is HUD? The draw text node. Let me go ahead and run our example and we'll see text. We're actually going to see two different texts here. We're going to see my UMG widget text and then we're going to see our draw text node from the HUD. Now the draw text node is really simple. It takes in some values and it outputs text. And the text is of course whatever you want it to be. So looking at our input nodes, we have the target. It's going to be the HUD itself, but since it's part of the receive draw event, you don't have to worry about that. The text that we want displayed, it's a simple string. We can have it whatever we want. The color, a simple linear color, we'll go ahead and set it to whatever color we want. And then where it is on the screen. So this is an XY, it's based on the top left corner. So you need to keep that in mind. So in this case, over 100 and down 100. When we hit play, we'll get our simple text. Now by default, it's not gonna come with a font. It's gonna have nothing. And if we hit play, you're gonna end up with this. You'll end up with the default font if you have nothing chosen. Now, here's something to keep in mind. The default font is going to be basically the default font of the engine. If you want something specific, you need a font asset. So in this case, I did that. I hit play and I get this. Font assets are really simple. You would just create them under, I believe, Miss, uh, blah, blah, blah. where's fonts at? Seriously? user interface here we go user interface font and then you could create a font using your own texture uh, usually a TTF file or something like that in this case I've created a font if we were to look at it in here somewhere there we go I simply created a font using the default but I set its default size to 42 that way I have a larger font and that's why in this case we end up with this font here now the next one is our scale. I change this to two by default to one. We'll go ahead and hit play and you'll notice, well, it comes out fine. Here's something to note though. My position, remember I set up is 100 by 100. So it's roughly 100 in and 100 down to the beginning of my debug text. And that'll be in the top left corner. However, when you change the scale, it still maintains that position, 100 down and 100 over unless you use the scale position option. What this does is it's basically a multiplier against your X and your Y. So for example, if I was to make this larger and I want it offset even more, then I would scale the position and now it'll be over 200 and down 200 before it draws it. And of course, if we set this back to one, scale position is going to be one times 100 and we'll end up back in the normal position, 100 by 100. Basically, the scale position is helpful if you want the entire HUD to scale relative to everything else. So if this scale was to go up, then you'd want this checked and it's going to go ahead and move it over and down as needed based on the scale values here. But by default, it will be unchecked. And that's pretty much it. That is our draw text. Keep in mind, let's move this thing over about 500 and down 20 and hit play because this is a HUD widget, it is going to be, sorry, a HUD node. It's going to be drawn behind UMG widgets. So again, UMG widgets on top, then our HUD, and then our viewport. So keep that in mind if you're layering things. In terms of uses, these are nice because, as you can see, it's a really simple node. I could get a value from anywhere, simply put it on the screen, and then have a debug text as needed. Since it's using the draw HUD, it's going to be updated every frame automatically. So it'd be useful for maybe checking character positions, checking to see the status of an AI, things like that. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our draw text node in the HUD class.